health in Ethiopia, further information, child marriage in Ethiopia and polygamy in Ethiopia. The World Health Organization 2006 World Health Report gives a figure of 1,936 physicians for 2003, which comes to about 2.6 per 100,000. A brain drain associated with globalization is said to affect the country, with many educated professionals leaving Ethiopia for better economic opportunities in the West. Ethiopia's main health problems are said to be communicable or contagious diseases worsened by poor sanitation and malnutrition. Over 44 million people, nearly half the population, do not have access to clean water. These problems are exacerbated by the shortage of trained doctors and nurses and health facilities. Child mortality, our world in data. Share of children born alive dying before they are five years old. 30%, This is Ethiopia and this color is Sub-Saharan Africa. Source UN Population Division 2017 Revision. The state of public health is considerably better in the cities. Birth rates, infant mortality rates, and death rates are lower in cities than in rural areas due to better access to education, medicines, and hospitals. Life expectancy is better in cities compared to rural areas, but there have been significant improvements witnessed throughout the country in recent years. The average Ethiopian living to be 62.2 years old, according to a UNDP report. Despite sanitation being a problem, use of improved water, water sources is also on the rise. 81% in cities compared to 11% in rural areas. As in other parts of Africa, there have, has been a steady migration of people towards the cities in hopes of better living conditions. In early 2005, the WHO reported that Ethiopia had 119 hospitals, 12 in Addis Ababa, and 412 health centers. Infant mortality rates are relatively high as 41 infants die per 1,000 live births. Ethiopia has been able to reduce under five mortality by two thirds as one of the Millennium Development Goals since uh, 1990. Although this is a dramatic decrease, birth related complications such as obstetric fistula affect many of the nation's women. we can see a child being vaccinated. HIV or AIDS in Ethiopia stood at 1.1% in 2014, a dramatic decrease from 4.5% 15 years ago. The most affected are poor communities and women due to lack of health education, empowerment, awareness, and lack of social well-being. The government of Ethiopia and many international organizations like World Health Organization, WSO, and the United Nations are launching campaigns and are working aggressively to improve Ethiopia's health conditions and promote health awareness on AIDS and other communicable diseases. Ethiopia has a relatively high infant and maternal mortality rate, although Ethiopia did not meet the MDZ target of reducing maternal mortality rate by two-thirds in 2015. There are improvements nonetheless. For instance, the contraception prevalence rate increased from 8.1% in 2000 to 31.8% in 2014. And antenatal care service coverage increased from 
29% to an astounding 98.1% in the same period. Currently, the maternal mortality rate stands at 420 per 100,000 live births. Only a minority of Ethiopians are born in hospitals, while most are born in rural households. Those who are expected to give birth at home have elderly women serve as midwives who assist with the delivery. The WHO estimates that a majority of maternal fatalities and disabilities could be prevented if deliveries were to take place at well-equipped health centers with adequately trained staff. We can see the picture of two doctors or nurses a smiling US aid and they are putting on a cap with the logo US aid. The low availability of healthcare professionals with modern medical training together with lack of funds for medical services leads to the three hundreds of less reliable traditional healers that use home-based therapies to heal common ailments. One common cultural practice irrespective of religion or economic status is female genital mutilation FGM, also known as female genital cutting FGC. A procedure that involves partial or total removal of the external female genitalia or other injury to the female genital organs for non-medical reasons. The practice was made illegal in Ethiopia in 2004. FGM, female genital mutilation, is a pre-marital custom mainly endemic to Northeast Africa and parts to of the Near East that has its ultimate origins in ancient Egypt. Encouraged by women in the community, it is primarily intended to deter promiscuity and to offer protection against assault. Ethiopia has a high prevalence of FGM, female genital Mutilation, but prevalence is lower among young girls. Ethiopia's 2005 Demographic and Health Survey, EDHS, noted that the national prevalence rate is 74% among women aged 15 to 49. The practice is almost universal in the regions of Dayardawa, Somali, and Afar. In the Oromo and Haradi regions, more than 80% of girls and women undergo the procedure. FGC, female genital cutting, is least prevalent in the regions of Tigray and Gambela, where 29% and 27% of girls and women respectively are affected. According to a 2010 study performed by the Population Reference Bureau, Ethiopia has a prevalence rate of 81% among women aged 35 to 39 and 60 2% among women aged 15 to 15, 19. A 2014 UNICEF report found that only 12% of girls under 14 had undergone FGM or female genital mutilation. Male circumcision is also practiced in the country and about 76% of Ethiopia's male population is reportedly circumcised. The government of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia is signatory to various international conventions and treaties that protect the rights of women and children. Its constitution provides for the fundamental rights and freedoms for women. There is an attempt being made to raise the social and economic status of women through eliminating, eliminating all legal and customary practices which hinder women's equal participation in society and undermine their social status. The National Mental Health Strategy, published in 2012, introduced the development of policy designed to improve mental health care in Ethiopia. This strategy mandated that the mental health be integrated into the primary health care system. 
However, the success of the National Mental Health Strategy has been limited. For example, the burden of depression is estimated to have increased 34.2% from 2007 to 2017. Furthermore, the prevalence of stigmatizing attitudes, inadequate leadership and coordination of efforts, as well as a lack of mental health awareness in the general population, all remain as obstacles to successful mental health problem, mental health. Abdiz Ababa, Fistul Hospital. Now, we are going to end our video watching the picture of Abdiz Ababa, Fistula Hospital. This is the picture of Abdiz Ababa, Fistula Hospital. And lastly, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.